The following is info on item, my view on item, to follow Lenovo Tab M10 HD 10.1 inch tablet 32GB slate black Android 9.0 storage quad core processor Wi-Fi Bluetooth model, ZA4G0078 US SKU, 636-0256 cost, $90.95 purchased on Best Buy website also available on Amazon's website specifications key specs total storage capacity 32GB screen size info 10.1 inches screen resolution info 1280 x 800 processor model info snapdragon 429 internet connectivity wi-fi operating system info android 9.0 pi battery type lithium ion general product name tab m10 10.1 tablet 32 gb brand lenovo model number ZA4G0078 US model family Lenovo color slate black color category black feature total storage capacity 32 gigabytes GPS enabled yes Stylus dock non camera rear facing camera yes rear facing camera megapixel info 5 megapixels rear facing camera video resolution info 5 megapixel front facing camera yes front facing camera megapixel info 2 megapixels display screen size info 10.1 inches screen resolution info 1280 x 800 display type LCD Screen type IPS performance battery life info 9 hours system memory RAM info 2 gigabytes processor brand Qualcomm processor model info Snapdragon 429 connectivity Internet connectivity WiFi Bluetooth enabled info yes Bluetooth version info embedded mobile broadband info WiFi headphone jack yes interface s info 3.5 mm audio compatibility operating system compatibility Android operating system info Android 9.0 Pi expandable memory compatibility micro SD power battery capacity info 4850 mAh charging interface S info micro USB battery type lithium ion included included software clock contacts file manager recorder launcher Camera, Skype, Gmail, Google Music, Google Calendar, Netflix, Weather, FM Radio, Google Chrome, Google Docs, Settings, Microsoft Outlook, Notification Center, Google Photo, Google Sheets Dimension Product Height Info. 6.6 inches product width info 9.5 inches product depth info 0.3 inches product weight info 16.9 ounces warranty manufacturers warranty parts one year manufacturers warranty labor one year other UPC brand Lenovo wireless communication technology WiFi operating system Android 9 Pi color slate black processor description Qualcomm Snapdragon about this item the Lenovo Tab M10 HD, is one impressive family tablet, it is packed with powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 429, quad-core, 2.0 GHz and supports fast connection with true 2.4 GHz slash 5 GHz Wi-Fi dual bands inside. 
lies an impressive 10.1 HD screen and dual front speakers for immersive entertainment impossibly contained within an extremely thin and light profile with rich sounds and visuals plus, make it truly family friendly by adding kids pack and stylish folio case so lend it to your child. Worry-free this is one tablet you'll want to pass around the house, add up to 256 micro SD additional storage to have everything you need all on your tablet a family-friendly tablet with face recognition to unlock. Your tablet with multiple user profiles and preloaded kids mode gives you peace of mind from the manufacturer Android Lenovo Tablet 10 inch Tab 10.1 HD Family Entertainment Tablet Lenovo M10 HD Tablet looking for an affordable tablet you can share with the whole family. Check out the Lenovo M10 HD a 10.1 inch tablet with great audio, face recognition login, and a kids mode that lets you pass it along to your children. Tab performance for you the Lenovo Tab M10 HD has just the right specs for an entertainment tablet the whole family can share. The Qualcomm Snapdragon quad-core processor keeps things running quickly and smoothly, and 802.11a-b-g-n-ac Wi-Fi means you'll enjoy speedy and strong connectivity. Tab Immersive Dolby Audio Surround yourself in booming sound when you take in music, movies, shows, and videos. The Lenovo M10 HD boasts dual front facing speakers and Dolby Audio, so you'll enjoy an immersive sound experience wherever you go. Tab Unlock with Face Recognition Unlock your device in a flash. Thanks to face recognition technology, the Lenovo Tab M10 HD recognizes your face and logs you in with a glance. Tab Kids Mode Turn on the Kids Mode to keep your children safe and entertained with custom content. Parental control features put you in charge of what your kids see, while eye protection technology helps reduce eye strain. Tab M10 VS Tab 410 Tab M10 HD Tablet Lenovo Tab M10 HD Display Network 802.11a-b-g-n-ac 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Processor Qualcomm SD429 Quad-core battery 4850 Ma OS Android P multi-user face unlock Yes I comfort mode Yes 10.1 HD 1280x800 IPS Lenovo Tab M10 HD 10.1 tablet Android 9.0 32 GB storage Quad-core processor Wi-Fi Bluetooth ZA4G0078 US, Slate Black Product Description Style 32GB ROM The Lenovo Tab M10, HD, is one impressive Android Ascent tablet a euro and made for the whole family. This impressive 10-inch tablet features an HD screen and two front speakers with Dolby Audio Scent, plus a 3.5 mm audio jack, to make streaming videos, games, and other applications come to life. Packed with a powerful Qualcomm a registered Snapdragon Ascent 429, quad-core, 2.0 GHz processor, the Tab M10 offers 32 GB memory and microSD sent card slot to add more. It supports fast connection with true 2.4 GHz/5 GHz Wi-Fi dual bands, 
WLAN 802.11 A slash B slash G slash N slash AC, blew it to the registered 4.2, and a micro USB port. Plus, you can put your mind at ease with the special kids mode, containing custom content and protection features so your children can use this Android Ascent tablet without the worry. Thin, light, and ready to go when you are, the Tab M10, HD, delivers up to 8 hours of video playback time on the 1280x800 resolution 10.1 HD screen. Front and rear cameras let you take photos and connect with family and friends no matter where you are. And with facial recognition technology, you can unlock your device quickly and conveniently. Product Information Style 32GB ROM Technical Details Collapse All Summary Screen Size 10.1 Inches Max Screen Resolution 1280x800 Card Description Integrated Wireless Type 802.11A Slash B Slash G Slash N Slash AC 802.11 AVG 802.11 A slash B slash G slash N, 802.11 Average Battery Life, in hours, 9 hours Other technical details Brand name Lenovo Series TV X505F Item Model Number ZA4G0078 US Hardware Platform Unknown Operating System Android 9 Pi Item Weight 1.06 Pounds Product Dimension 6.66 X 9.57 X 0.33 Inches Item Dimensions LXW XH 6.66 X 9.57 X 0.33 inches color slate black processor brand Qualcomm processor count 1 computer memory type unknown flash memory size 32 GB hard drive interface unknown power source cord electric batteries 1 lithium ion batteries required and included additional information ASINB 07 V29 CYF3 Lenovo Tab M10, HD, User Guide Lenovo TBX505F Lenovo TBX505L Lenovo TBX505X All information labeled with asterisk in this guide refers only to the WLAN and LTE model, Lenovo TB505L. Lenovo TB505X Basics before using this information and the product it supports, be sure to read the following, Safety, Warranty and Quick Start Guide Regulatory Notice Important Safety and Handling Information in Appendix The Safety Warranty and Quick Start Guide and the Regulatory Notice are available on the website at http supportlenovocom I'm finishing off the video. Now again, I've said this in my previous videos, but I just want to make sure I let you know this again. I am no expert. I don't play one on YouTube. I'm a regular Joe Schmo who just happens to like gadgets, buys them, and tries them out. So I'm just relating to regular people like myself. As for this, going back to this tablet. Now, I, I purchased this tablet to hand over to my daughter so she can use it for school and uh, different applications and different things and I have to tell you that I was very very dissatisfied with it but again it's a hundred dollar tablet so there's not a lot you can say about it it does I don't even know how to put it 
Uh, it's an Android tablet. It's a $100 Android tablet, but it is slow, sluggish. Everything takes a really long time. Now, that's not in comparison to, let's say, a 1995 compact computer from back in the day. It's a lot faster than that, but now, in this day and age, it's just too slow. I think if you're using this for a specific reason, maybe as a, you know, I was thinking of using it as a GPS, and I think it has the, hold on one second, let me just confirm that. So yes, it does have GPS, and I think I'm going to use it as a GPS in my car. I'm not a big phone GPS person. The phone's not big enough. I need a big tablet to use it, and uh, I was trying to figure out. I tried to give this to my daughter. She couldn't deal with it. It was just too slow. Very, very sluggish. I understand there's a version two of this. And even that is just that people still complain about the second version, I believe, that has the same problem, the sluggish. It's just lagging. So pretty much once you get the application you're looking to run, running, you're good. But it also does crash. The GPS that I, uh, I was using, and I just wanted to make sure that it was GPS enabled because I was linking it through my phone with, uh, um, I was making my phone a hotspot. So it was going, it was getting internet service through that. But I now I know confirmed that it uses GPS and you don't need to have internet access. Uh, this is while I was testing it and trying it out. So it works okay as a GPS. Uh, I use, uh, uh, Waze and Google Maps, which does require some internet, it requires internet service, but the GPS also helps. As for it to do other things, I find that it crashes on certain applications. Can't really run two things at once. It's not a replacement tablet. It's an additional tablet you can hand over to a friend or a child to use. Um, I don't know, once they got the, if they're running YouTube, once you get YouTube running, it usually works very well. Battery life's okay, it's not real long. I think, you know, we would normally get while running applications about four or five hours uh, without plugging it in. Um, it's an open box, under $100. I can't really complain, I'm just letting you know if you end up buying this tablet, what you can end up getting, and you basically get what you pay for. It's a nice tablet. I didn't use the camera at all. And uh, it's a nice tablet, and like I said, I'm gonna use it as a GPS, and that'll probably fit m my needs. I'll probably end up also downloading my uh, podcast, ca podcast catcher and downloading podcasts and running those locally on the actual device. So that, that should run fine also. Uh, besides that, um, you know, I'm probably gonna end up maybe putting some Velcro in the back and sticking it up on the wall when I'm home and using it so I can see who's at my door with my uh, video device. Uh, and. Pretty much that's it. I, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough, I, I'd love to say this was the greatest and bestest tablet, but it's not. You get what you pay for. It's a hundred dollar tablet. Now, another thing is when it comes to Android and iOS, I don't want to go into the back and forth. One of the nicest things I like about iOS over Android is that I can link all my devices together, depending on your cellular service also. And I could do Wi-Fi calling and I could do to allow my other devices, my tablet, my iPads to connect to my iPhone when I get home and use my tablet and iPhone just like a phone. I can use FaceTime to make phone calls, audio phone calls and 
I can receive audio phone calls through my tablet with iOS. So the way it works is you get home, I get home, I take my phone, I put it in the back to charge. I enable to allow other devices, my cellular company, I don't know if it really works through the cellular company or it actually works through the sign in of iTunes, but I think it's the cellular company because you're using their phone number. It, al it allows me up to five devices, five additional devices to receive phone calls. So I have an additional two tablets and I have an, I have an iPad mini and an iPad pro, the 12 inch, which I totally love. And what it does is that if I'm sitting in the living room or anywhere in, anywhere I'm in the home, when my phone rings or I receive a text, it goes through my Wi-Fi or through my phone, I should say. And then through that, it goes through my Wi-Fi, finds my tablet, and it actually sends it to me. You can, I can receive texts and phone calls uh, using the same phone number that I'm using on my phone. So it's pretty cool. With Android, you really can't do that. There's a lot of work around. I love their app, Duo. That works really well. I, I use it. Here, I think that's what they're using with the Google Mini. You can make phone calls with the Google Mini. You can actually just tell it to dial and they'll start calling someone through the phone number, which is a really cool idea. And that's, I believe, through Google's uh, Duo app, which works flawlessly and it works well. But it has to be running. Whereas with the iPad and the iPhone, I don't have to have anything running. I get, I, I don't have to even have the screen, nothing. It'll just happen in the background. So that's the differences between Android and iPhones, the convenience factor. Until Android does that, I'll always be an Apple person just because of that one feature. That just sells it to me. It's just the convenience of that. I don't like to have my phone with me always. I, I hate, I actually hate my phone. I like tablet, big screens, because you have so much multiple use. I can't watch videos and movies on my phone. It's just not big enough. I need something like eight inches and above. So uh, that's my spiel on iOS and Android. But uh, when it comes to this tablet, uh, again, sluggish, lagging. There's a lot, there's a lot needed. <laughs> And it is $100, so I really can't complain too much. I'm trying to be as um, as uh, neutral as I could because I have to factor in the price. But I will tell you, if I could return this, I would. I wouldn't have even bought it. But I, since I can't return it, <clears throat> since it's past the 30 days return from Best Buy, I will end up putting it as a... Uh, I will make, I'll be using it as a GPS in one of my uh, uh, vehicles. So uh, you heard all the details in the beginning and I'm telling you my view on it at the end. I hope this video helps. I hope you like it. And um, I hope I was as detailed as I could be. So uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It'd be nice to have you as a subscriber. Thank you. Bye.